Ahoy there, Creasers, and welcome to another episode with Cruise with Ben and David. And in this episode, we're going to be giving you our ultimate, amazing top tips for cruising with Norwegian Cruise Line. Whether you're a first time cruiser on NCL or if you've been on Norwegian Cruise before, stick with us because you might learn something you never knew. So, our first big tip would be to book shows before you get on the cruise. And apart from the comedy shows, you can do this all before you even board on the online planner. How cool is that? You can also do it when you're on board, on more ships, on the TV screens, or at guest services as well. Yep, the shows will show multiple times throughout your cruise, so don't worry if you don't get the first show in. And for the comedy shows as well, these are sometimes really popular. So if you want a particular seat, make sure you get there a little bit before the show starts, just so you can get the spot that you want. Yeah, sit back, relax, order a drink and get there before the masses do. It's not a problem. Tip number two is if you are stuck any time around the ship, Look at the floor because there's fishes that point facing forward. And trust me, when you're in aisles and stuff where you can't see which direction you're moving, this is yeah. so helpful, isn't it? Plus, keep an eye out for the rebellious fish that swims in the opposite direction as well. Yeah, it's a red herring. So our next big tip would be to buy a dining package. Seriously, this can save you an absolute fortune. You can buy different types of packages. So you can buy sort of like three meals, packages for your whole cruise. The more dining package days you buy, the better the value is as well. So if you buy a dining package for your entire cruise, you're going to save the most amount of money. Yeah, you can easily save up to 50% because lots of the menus are a la carte. So it means you have to pay per dish. So we've done this quite a few times and you get to eat in some really, really yummy um, specialty restaurants mm -hmm. as well. And usually in the specialty restaurant, if you have purchased the dining package, you can have as many starter courses as you want. You get to choose a main course and as many desserts as you like as well. And if you go somewhere with sides as well for the main courses, you can order as many of these as you want so you can eat in some beautiful places like Le Bistro, La Cucina, oh and Cagney's the steak mm -hmm. restaurant. Seriously guys it's so worth the money the food is amazing. So guys on the day that you board the ship or embark the ship there's usually some offers for 20% off some of the shores. Some shores are paid not many of them some of the illusion type shores mm -hmm. and the circus type shores and if you book these on the first day of getting on board you can save 20%. Also, keep an eye out because there may be discounts on speciality restaurants as well as spa treatments, just because usually the first day of these were a lot quieter. Yeah. So just keep an eye out for any discounts or just ask at the spa or at the maitre d' office and they'll tell you if there's any offers on it that day. Yeah, so make sure you grab those bargains as soon as you get off. Our next tip is food related again, as mm. all our tips seem to be, <laughs> is don't forget that Oceans, or the local it's called on some of the ships, is complimentary dining 24 hours a day. So if you have the midnight munchies, if you're heading back to your cabin after a night out boogieing, it's great to pop by there, grab some chicken wings, which were, all the oh. nachos were amazing. Or if you're just looking for a light lunch or a light breakfast. So there's loads of breakfast options on board Norwegian, not just the buffet. There's also a sit down option in the main dining room. Plus you can also get alternative breakfast options in some of the speciality dining restaurants, such as Margaritaville. So this is great because they're a little bit quieter than the hustle and bustle of the buffet. So at peak times, the buffet can get really busy. So it's quite easily either go towards the beginning of the buffet opening or the end of the, of the buffet closing and you'll usually find it's a lot quieter and you'll find a seat much easier. And also another alternative, if you don't want to leave your cabin at all, is to order room service breakfast as well. Oh, it's lovely if you've got a hangover. You can slay in bed and enjoy some yeah. nice food. Bring the food to me. That's what I say. I like it. So next tip is Norwegian is all about the flexibility and you may have heard the term freestyle dining. This basically means that you can eat wherever you want, whenever you want. And it's so good, it lets you avoid the really busy times. We usually find that the busy times for eating on a cruise are 6 till 8 p.m. So you can quite easily avoid these times by going outside of those times. You can also use the TV screens to have a look and see when the restaurants are open. You can see this in the daily guide as well. And it actually tells you on the TV screens how busy these restaurants are. So you can go to a restaurant really easily that isn't busy and there's no queue. Yeah, so apart from the speciality dining, there's no need to book, there's no set meal times, there's no sort of split where some people have a set meal time, some people don't. Everybody, it's just dine when you want and where you want. Yeah, it's so fantastic. We absolutely love the flexibility on Norwegian. Oh, okay.
Another top tip when booking your Norwegian cruise is to look at the free at sea promotion. These are available to people outside Europe and it means that you get to choose different add-ons to your cruise. So this could be free Wi-Fi, onboard spend, uh, speciality dining, drinks packages, um, and you can get usually one or two depending on what class of cabin you book. Yeah, it's really good. We recommend that you go for the drinks package if you do have that option because that's probably worth the most amount of money, isn't it? Yeah, if you're a drinker, it's yeah. definitely, yeah. And so for everybody in Europe like us, when you book a cruise, as standard, it's the all-inclusive premium package. So this actually includes all of your drinks, sometimes things like a little bit of Wi-Fi, and your gratuities are included as well. So it's great, so you don't have to worry about that. Our next tip is to be prepared for some of the themed parties on board. So Norwegian like to hold themed parties, and you don't want to be left out in the cold, as they say. You want to be there with your full-on rocking costume, such as the white party. So make sure you bring some white clothes along, and sometimes they hold things like decade parties or 90s, 60s, 70s parties as well. So bring some costumes along as quite a lot of people do like to dress up. Yeah, the white party is a highlight of the Norwegian cruise. They usually do this outside um, if weather is permitting or on cold climates, they will actually do it inside, which they did on our last Norwegian cruise. And it is such a fun party Yeah, they as well. put like glow lights up. They even do um, free face painting with glow paint and all sorts. The kids can get involved as well. It's really fun for all the family. Definitely, they've got ultraviolet lights everywhere, so that's why you wear white, so you shine like a star. It's great. <laughs> what? Like shine like a, star. Like, a shine star. like a star. Shine like a star. Shine like a star. So because if you're not on an all-inclusive package or have a drinks package, water can be quite expensive on a cruise as well. So we always recommend you take an empty bottle of big water. So just an empty water bottle so that you can refill it whilst you're on board. Yeah, you can go get some great portable ones. I particularly like the Chili's bottles. Yep. They're really good. They keep your water cold for like 24 hours. Um, you can find a link to the Chili's bottles in the description below. I just think they're brilliant. They're super light and you can refill them around the ship as well. Exactly. And you can also bring on bottles bottles of wine on board Norwegian as well, but bear in mind that you will be charged a corkage fee for each one of them. This is currently for a standard bottle of wine, $15, yeah. and for a huge big bottle of Magnum wine, it's $30 per bottle as well. But if you do have a particular wine you like, it's great to bring it on board, and it also maybe could save you a little bit of money compared to buying wine on the ship. But just remember, you are charged that $15 corkage fee when you board the ship. So even if you don't drink it in any of the restaurants or if you don't open it while you're on board, you're still going to have to pay the $15 corkage fee. Yeah, and you can also, if you don't finish that bottle of wine, ask your waiter to keep it for your next meal as well, which is really cool. And finally, we're almost at the end of the video and the end of our cruise. So oh. our last tip before you get off is to take advantage of the self-assist walk-off if you're able to. It's great because you avoid all the queues during the day. You just have to remember though, that you have to carry your own luggage with you. So that means that you have to carry it down the stairs and off the ship. So usually you're actually assigned a leaving time to get off the ship. So this could be any time usually from about 7 a.m. till about 9.30 a.m. But as David says, you can choose to use self-assist. Basically, all this means is self-walk-off. So you don't put your luggage out the night before, you literally just take your luggage off and walk it off the ship. But we find that this saves you so much time. It is usually a little bit earlier, maybe 7 a.m. that you're actually required to walk off the ship, but there's usually no queues. You don't have to wait for your luggage and you get out of the terminal really, really quickly, don't you? Yeah. If you want to find out more about disembarking a cruise, some more tips and about self-assist, check out our cruise disembarkation video, which is in the corner right here. Yeah, so guys, if you have any tips for Norwegian Cruise Line that you think we've missed out, please let us know in the comments below. We absolutely love to hear them. We'll put them in our next show and it's great for your fellow cruisers as well to share some knowledge. Yep, you can also find us on social media. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and we're also on Shipmate as well. So come along and be Yay. our Shipmate. Yeah, so make sure you give us a follow as well. Subscribe to us below, press the bell for notifications and give this video a big like. It would be really appreciated. That really does help us. So until next time, happy, happy cruising. cruising like a Norwegian. Cruise like a Norwegian. Come with me, let's go. Come with I love Norwegian. Come with me, let's go. Oh.